Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with Philip Wilson. And uh, so I actually worked with you um, a long time ago in Atlantic City. Do you remember that big, huge show that Andre put on? Oh my God. You remember that thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So oh. I, I, was, uh, I was in the vicinity. Emiliani. Yes, yes, Emiliani, yeah. yeah. Awesome show. So, um, so I got to meet you there, but I want to talk about you have had a career. Let's just say that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So you've yeah. done it all. <laughs> and so I want to talk about uh, where did you start your career? Well, 19, uh, let me think. Oh, my God. 1970, okay. London, South London. In London. Okay. Yeah. Long, long, long time ago. Yeah. But so very cool because I, that, that was at the cool. That was at the coolest. Time it, I've got to that. tell you, it, it, I, I walk around now seeing all this incredible talent of today. And I think I just hit that early 70s, mm -hmm. you know, so going from like the early 70s, to the end of the 70s, that decade was so monumentally loaded yeah. with fashion and edge. Yeah. How far can you go? I've no idea. Go for it. Right. Then when you got there, you went, did I really get here? <laughs> Right. Crazy decade, man. So when but did, beneficial. So and then and now, where do you live now? Uh, well, I have a house in Palm Springs, okay. and I also live um, on the beach in Dana Point. Okay. So yeah. So just good places. Yeah, yeah. Just hanging and letting so it flow. If you could, if you could say one like big turning point in your career from when you started in the seventies, what do you think that was? Well, I wore his T-shirt to the event last night. Okay. Um, like most people would say, Vidal. Yeah. Um, but but not. Let me explain that because I I do so many like interviews with people about Vidal. Right. Um, I did his memorial here four years ago with three very cool friends, and um, he was extremely instrumental in my career in the early early stages. But there was another guy called Paul Garrett, who was a what we call Southpaw, a lefty, who was probably one of the most architectural cutters in the world at the time. Yeah. And him and I worked together for years. I was like his protege, bringing him to do it. That was the changing point that I realized what I could do with a blade. Okay. That was it. When I realized that if I can see it, feel it, even prior to that dream, it, I could execute it. Yeah. If you knew how to put a frame and a canvas together, you could paint the mural of your dreams. It exactly. was amazing. amazing. Okay, so that was a big, turn so big and, turning point. And that was, so you, did you study with Sassoon? I was one of the w w different ones. Be reason being there was, there was the, the hardcore Sassoonies, and yeah. then there was us that were sort of like on that perimeter, which okay. was like Russell Williams, yeah. uh, Gregor Shumi, all the Knightsbridge London boys. Okay. We all had Sassoon in us, but then we sort of stepped out and put your own twist to it. Right. There. That's, okay. the, that's, the, that's the way I'm going to express it. Okay. And then you met Paul uh, Garrett, right? Yeah. Paul and Garrett was uh, world champion, Italian champ. I mean, fantastic designer. I met him and then him and about, we were like an underground group. Okay. You know, when yeah. people say about a certain level of rock or a certain level of music. Yeah. We were there, but we sort of went underground a little bit and tried a few more. Okay experimental things in the world so <laughs> and when you say he was a champion so we're we're at naha yep. this weekend right it's a competition but Correct. it's you know it is pretty much there's not too many competitions left no in the industry no, no but what no. was the competition like then like well it's like the british awards now they're held at the water at the uh, dorchester hotel in london at the end of each year, and it's groups called 365, which means 365 days of business. Okay. And they put a creative spin to it, which was Stephen Way of Bond Street, Leslie Spears, Paul Garrett, okay. Hein Shumi, um, Gregor Shumi, Russell Williams. They were the cats. Okay. Everybody wanted to be with them. Right. And they challenged each other. Okay. There were certain parts of London. And all the corners of London, they had salons, and it was battle all the time. So when you became the British champion, that was the one you went for, swiftly followed by the L'Oreal Go Trophy at the Royal Albert Hall. If you got into the top three of that, man, you could fly. And I did it twice. That's awesome. And it was like the most, <laughs> it was incredible feeling to get it there. Right. He was the one that was that sort of like trainer. He was the one who said, if you move a little more to the left, you're going to get a far better response in your work. So you move to the left, and people will go, dude, that was so cool. What do you yeah. think of that? And you go, oh, it just 
came to me. And he'd be at the back going, isn't it funny though that that like I think when you really start thinking about haircutting that deep, like that's a whole it's a whole different level of like a slight shift. Like the other day, I went and bought a new driver for golf. Right, right, right. And love golf. Yeah. yeah. So I I walk in there and I'm like I, I'm slicing my shot. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. And the guy yeah. goes, I'm gonna change your life. Yep. Just come over here. Yeah. I know he wanted to sell me a new driver, which yep. is fine. I got it. But I walk into the practice thing. I sh- shoot my shot. It shows my my hook, right? right my right, slice. Right. And uh, he goes, I just want you to twist your wrist there it a is. bit, and I want you to uh, cock your shoulder back a little Dude, bit. That you hit the nail right on the I head. Nailed it. You nailed straight. this one because that's exactly. There were five of us that they took under their wing. Yeah. Um, four of them are no longer in the business for mer- various reasons, and um, I just kept going. I yeah. thought. I'm not going to let an edge, uh, the edge won't get blunt. I, there, there is no, everything to me is the epitome of infinity. Yeah. I'll find something, and when I do, that's time for me to stop. Yeah. I'm nowhere near that. Yeah. Every I've haircut a, I do drives me crazy. Oh, you know, when, when people say, right, I, th- I think I've reached the end of my creative abilities as an artist, and I think this conversation I want away from so fast <laughs> is bullshit, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Come on. If you, if you have that chromosome, and it's almost like it's genetic things in you, yeah. there is no limit. Yeah. It, you, can, you can, providing the wings will flap, yeah. fly forever, man. Yeah. No, there's no roof to our world. There's no, well, you better get ready for retirement. Yeah. To do what? And you I watch. never had a job. 44 right. years ago, I found a hobby. <laughs> right. And I've made a very fabulous lifestyle. I have it. a really hard time. Like my, So my wife and child are at the hotel. Right. And I have a really hard time saying I'm going to work right now. Like, yeah. like leaving them, I almost feel like I'm compute. lying to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, exactly. It's like, respect me for going to work. And then you get outside <laughs> the door and go, what work? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not really, really going to work. This isn't really work. Yeah. Is, yeah. But like you, your age, like how old are you now? 33. 33. You're doing stuff that's amazing. 33. You're the social media, the digital world. One that my generation, you either move into or you're left behind. Well, that's what I always talk about. If you talk about Sassoon yeah. and Paul Garrett oh. and you, like if, if you, if social media was then, right? Oh. I mean, think about that. Think about like how you could have put out what you were doing I don't know how on a daily basis. I could basis. think about it then. Yeah. It was so, today I see the young, like I'm doing Beacon tomorrow. Right. And I stand in front of them with Larry Curtis and all our guys from Taylor Andrews. And I think, I look at them and I think they're so beautiful. They're so pure. They're almost like that, that fall, this like gallop through the meadows and it becomes a stallion. Right. And you watch it progress and but you've got to have those places you can't just go a to z exactly it doesn't i express this to everybody find your variables within life and i've done it like if there's someone who's brilliant one thing i'll focus on them add it to my portfolio move yet another one the most instrumental person in my life other than my wife mary and my son ross who does uh, Street Thug Barbers, which has now got oh, mega really? social media. Oh, that's cool. That's my son, my oldest son, who's freaking amazing artist. That's really the, cool. He yeah. is like the purest. He's like Rembrandt with a pair of scissors. That's Incredible cool. designer. That's so cool. And he does it on people that can't afford anything. Okay. They're on the streets. Yeah. They're children that will never see a home. These are men that have made a mistake and they live on the streets probably the rest of their lives. Yeah. He goes there with four or five barbers and sits them all down. That's my new focus. Even at my age, yeah. my oldest son, who I absolutely worship, yeah. I see him and I think, where did that come from? It's him. Yeah. He's Ross Wilson. Right. He's not Philip Wilson's son, right. which is hard for him to wear. He is Ross Wilson frigging amazing artist yeah. and so much about giving back not focused on the revenue aspect yeah that is rare my youngest son i mean my sons and my wife when you say about you've left your wife and your son here's one thing i'll give you advice on A guy of my age always put family first yeah never ever put something in front of your wife and child yeah because that's nothing. You have nothing to substantiate. But you will find these curves in life. <clears throat> my, one of my most impressed ones, other than my family, is Jim Markham. Okay. I mean, iconic. He's created Sebring, Markham, ABBA, Purology, now Colorproof, which is 
off the Richter scale advanced technology. See, I thought color proof was yours. No, 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 no. Okay. It's it. He is the the head of it. Okay. I am his partner. Okay. Which is fantastic. Fabulous. <laughs> right. Um, he has this uncanny ability, and neither one of us are young by any means. But he knows what. He has that. Remember, I told you there's those levels you go through. Yeah. He has that ability. He can see it. He's a technological genius. Of course, he's also iconic hairdresser. Right. Sinatra. I mean, come on. I yeah. Mean, the most powerful men in the world have sat in his chair. Right. Superstars. I don't mean today. Right. Like reality talk show. <laughs> right. This is like Peter Lawford, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra, Steve McQueen. Oh. The cat's done yeah. monumentally well. But now with color proof, it's his like cap. Okay. So what I'm saying is there are stages, but you'll find a cap. And it's a very cool one. Yeah. Because it's almost this is what you might leave to the industry that you've loved all your life. With color proof, this guy's taking technology, advanced ingredients to a whole new level. What a way to leave a legacy. Yeah. It's amazing what I really done. love, I mean, I love color proof. I've, I've used a lot of the yep. products. Yep. Um, a distributor that I was working with for a little bit carried it, and I, I really enjoy the products. What, what's going on with the, with the company right now? It's about to go into hyperdrive. Yeah. I'm glad to say that. Yeah. That's good. Um, we're fully saturated North America. Now the rest of the world want on. Okay. And so do a lot of people that weren't around four years ago, <clears throat> you know, saying, let's go for it. It's yeah. Jim Mark, and we know it's a shoe, and it's amazing and everything. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants it. Right. It's become, it's like the super luxury category of all lines. What's going on with it? As fanatical as I am with what I do, you'll meet someone, and I, I would like for you to meet Jim, but he looks for ingredients that no one else sees. He was in Africa on a safari with his wife, Cheryl, and he gets out of the enclosed cage <laughs> and walks over right. to this big tree, and all the guys there are bodyguards, you know, checking out, they're going, what the hell is he doing? He saw this tree called the Baobab tree. Okay. And it is like what they call the tree of life. It is, it's an incredible story. Um, and he studied it. And he said, but what's the tree of life? They go, well, it has the ability of immense moisturizing. The elephants rub their trunks around it at certain parts of that Africa to then get the liquid, the moisture from it to give to the small. Really? Then there are these tribe women that harvest this bean. It is a very unattractive bean, but yet the components are supersonic charged. So he actually now has great deal of the rights for it. <laughs> I know, he just, he sees stuff others yeah, don't that's see. A, yeah, then he right. says, what would that be like in a shampoo, conditioner, a reconstructor, a moisturizer, replenisher? A rebuilder, all these things yeah, goes into his mind. Then he has people, when I say people, fragrance specialists from all over the world go to his house in Newport Beach, literally around this massive island, hundreds of fragrances from all over the world. He wow. will then select from them. They all want his business because he's iconic at what right, he's done, course. as you know. Yeah. And he'll come up with things that are just ridiculous. Baobab, which is like most expensive there is, it's like 24 karat gold in your hair. And you say, how did you do that? And he'll say, well, how did you think of doing that haircut? And I go, just do it. Yeah. He goes, but you don't touch it. You cut with combs and brushes and people think you're strange or weird. And I go, that's what I want them to think. Yeah. That gives me that individuality, that little right. niche that's a little different. He's the same guy. That's cool. He's my best friend. He's my partner. He's regarded by a lot of people as extremely eccentric. But then, come on, right. even your That's generation, whole, right. even the social <laughs> digital world know that eccentricity means there's a uniqueness in that human being right. that's not run of the mill. 99.99% right. will walk south. He'll yeah. turn around, put his jacket on, walk north. Right. Everybody goes, he's going the wrong way. But then the other 99% going that way going, I'm not sure he is. <laughs> but by the time they turn around to hit it, his project's done. And that's what separates people. And that's when, it, if like a lot of you guys out there that are watching this, um, when you look at you, you, the energy, the passion, like Eat, it's, sleep it's and so drink much it. more than if you want, if you want to be successful in the industry and it, and it, 
in a whole other level. Right. Not behind the chair is one level. But very where, lovely world. Which is a great very world. beautiful yeah. lifestyle. A lot of people have a lot of success. Absolutely. There. But then there's a whole other level of where uh, people want to educate and all that. And then there's tonight the uh, other artistic side of right, everything. Right. And I think that, you know, you have, you've kind of, you've traveled through all of them. Yeah. What is your favorite part? Wow. Or if you had to give a favorite part of, let's say, did that's you, a gr- you no, work behind a great the chair, question. right? I've been behind the chair many, 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 many years. Love it. And have done royalty and blue buds and stars and lived on an island for two years doing some of the wealthiest people on the planet that their only way to commute the islands were luxurious yachts. I used to get on with a hooded dryer and my rollers and my scissors and brushes and stay on their island, private island, for two or three days doing all their guests that have come in from all over the world. Oh, yeah, it's been an incredible life. When I say it's been, it is. It is. It's not been. There's there's a lot more, yeah. (laughs) Now my objective, everyone that's in that room and viewing what you're viewing tonight, we're sitting in front of the beacon, right? Uh, PBA beacon, which is all students. All right? students. They're they're on that level of graduating. They're becoming. They're the the future stars. When they see people on stages here, it's it must be understood by everybody. There is no rule or regulation to how far you want to take your career. Yeah. It's unlimited. Here is the limitation: what sits between your ears. Yep. This is your That's limitation. Yeah. I never ever had that. I came from very poor, humble beginnings in London and now live a lifestyle that's very, I don't know, nice. Yeah. I can. I mean, you have a couple of houses. I have a couple of nice things and (laughs) I love my cars. That's what it's all about. And my clothes and that's what it's all about. But no one must ever think they can't do something. Right. It's the person who says they can't do it is they've listened to the advice of others that never did it. Right. I learned that as a young, much younger than you. Yeah. And Paul told me, the minute you believe what someone's telling you is correct and just keep in the corner quiet and just get by, it's the minute it's defeated. You're yeah. defeated. You mustn't allow someone to say you can't do something. Can't doesn't, I have never had that in my entire no. human dictionary. C A N T has never been there. Yeah. And I think a, pe- a lot of people get stuck in that comfort zone. Like, Daily. Yeah. Daily. Hairdressers all over, all yeah. over the world are. They just get content with what they have and then they want like I think when you get to the point where you're now at your you want everyone else to give you what you should have. Yes. And you're not going to get it for yourself. No. I think that's when people get lost. Yeah, they get totally lost. And when people say to me, well, how long you been doing? And I go, well, let's see, 44 years. And they go, good grief. I go, meaning what? I mean, if it was Dali or Erte right. or whoever. Yeah. Someone said this is the age. It doesn't affect my ability to sculpt, right. design, paint, cut. Right. These work. <laughs> this very much works. <laughs> right. And this is as big as it's ever been. Right. Don't don't allow someone to do that. Walk away from them. Well. Wow. You become who you were meant to be here. You weren't brought here right. to follow someone else. You were brought here to make your mark and leave your dynasty, not someone else's. Right. That's been my philosophy my entire life, and it hasn't served me too bad. Well, with that being said, is there anything else you want to put out there for everybody? Um, uh, anything you got coming up? Or well, I've got lots of show, obviously shows coming up. Yeah, um, yeah almost all the shows. Yeah, right? the, the colorproof shows are just phenomenal. It's um, it start, it's now gearing up. It'll be going global. Um, I don't know. Every day is different. I really don't know. And what's your what's your son's Instagram? Ross, stuff? and it's uh, a street thug barbers. Street thug barbers. And it's uh, in Canada right now. Okay. And it is probably one of the most meaningful things I've ever experienced in my entire life. Cool. And I've seen and met very prominent right. people. Yeah. My son surpassed them all, just well, by being a human being that actually loves. The fact is that he's helping people that live in the streets. Yeah. And every every age. And if you look on streetthugbarbers.com and you go on Facebook or Instagram, it's all I go all over the world and I'll be talking to some barbers, fabulous barbers, old traditional barbers. Right. And I'll tell you my son does that and street thug dude, are you serious? <laughs> I follow him. Yeah. What do you mean that's your son? I go, yeah. that's him. 
And that's, that's, that's what's cool about the times now, because I think um, when you look at um, other iconic hairdressers and their sons and family coming up through it, it was, you just, people kind of knew, because that's how you would grow in your, within yes. the legacy. Nowadays, yes. you have social media. You can, you can become your own, whatever you want, without having that Brilliant family. Brilliant point. Great you know, point. Legacy. And he's done that. <clears throat> yeah. Because I don't think... You yeah. know, a lot of people are following him necessarily because of your career, even though it, it would push I would him. tell you, and I'm the first to say, it has nothing to do right. with me. Yeah. I'm here. He's over there. That's Philip. That's Ross. We have the same surname. He happens right. to be my son. And you get to share in a passion. And I, oh, my, my, ab, you know, when you hear people say how proud they are of someone. Yeah. You have no idea of the pride I have for I this can, man. I can see it. it I eat, sleep, and drink the earth he walks on. Because wow. I'd never have seen something so real yeah. in my entire life. When you stand and you put a box up and you try to look for an electrical outlet and he plugs his clippers in yeah. and he gets his scissors and comes out and he's got five or six fabulous barbers, we're with you. It is the most amazing thing anyone could ever experience. Yeah, and brilliant. the fact he he has my surname helps me a great deal. Right, right? Exactly. He's helping me. So that's right. good. It's very good. Awesome. That's great. Well, Philip, it's so great to talk to you. Thank you to you uh, too, American brother. Salon uh, for you. setting up this interview. Um, I love talking to people, especially like you, um, that have done so much for the industry. So thank you and for a lot that. More, a lot more to a go. A lot more to come. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out American Salon and freesaloneducation.com and Colorproof and Philip Wilson. Thank All right. you. Thank you guys.